Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're gonna do a little more work on the truck. Um, if you remember back from this video up here in the info card, but uh, I mentioned that this truck did not come with the trailer brake um, controls in the truck. So I ordered one from Ford and we're gonna install it. Again, this is on the 2020 F-150 XLT. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do, but I know I didn't find any videos on YouTube, so I'm going to make one. Uh, we're going to start by taking some of these panels off. We're going to start with this one. Just a couple clips. There are two bolts if you want to take them off. I don't think we're going to need to. We can reach everything without it, but we're going to take this one off. And then we're going to take this piece up here off. Remove the covering over the radio controls. And then we gotta take this piece right here off. And the brake controller actually goes right in here. It'll fill in this spot right here. All right, let's uh, start taking this apart. All right, first we gotta take this panel off. Pretty simple to do, just a couple clips in there. Gotta pull kind of hard, work your way around. There's that side. And we'll get to this side. Sorry it's so dark in here. And this just kind of lays down. As you can see, the two bolts I was mentioning here and here. You can see the little bit more light in there. We got one there, one there. We don't need to take those off. We just need to get behind here. I think we could do it without taking that all the way off. All right, now that we have that panel off, I'm gonna come up here. Take this off. Got two bolts back here. Looks like it's a seven millimeter. pop this up some of these clips uh, especially being a new truck uh, they're pretty stiff all right I'll just set that off to the side I'll set that off to the side two more bolts here The other camera is kind of dark, I think, so if that footage comes out dark, I'm sorry. But basically, we pulled this off, just a couple clips on there. Some came out a little hard. Being a newer vehicle, never been pulled out. Makes sense. Then up here, we had this panel in here. There's two bolts, one there, one there. Sorry, one there, one there. That pops out. We got two more. One right here, one right there. So now we're at this part where we need to take this entire panel off. Uh, since we already took those two screws out of the top, this will pretty much just pull off. Again, kind of hard. And we're just gonna Gonna slide this off to the side a little. We don't need a lot of room. Now we got to get this whole piece off right here. As I mentioned earlier, brake controller is going to go in there. All right. This one is a bunch of other clips again. Just kind of pull them off.
see that just comes right down. And I believe there's two screws down there in the bottom that we could take out too. But we're just getting to here. So we don't need to do that. All right, so now this piece should just pop out just like that. Pull it out all the way. And as you can see on the back, push this little plug in. So this plug is now gonna go into the back of the stock trailer brake controller. Just line it up, nice and easy. So you don't break any of the pins off. Clipped in. Sure, we're putting it back in right. All right, so now you can see it's put in the other place that the other one was in, or the space holder was. It's all clipped in there, nice and tight. We get positive on top. Negative down there. Now, we can just start putting the panels back on. Which everything should snap back into place. All right, we got that one back on. Now we can put this one back in. put two screws in panel on put the other two screws on now we'll be done So as you can see down here installed, everything looks good. Everything fit back in place. Some of these you might have to get flashed. Uh, some say you do, some don't. So we'll uh, test it once we get a trailer on here and see if we need to do it. If not, we're good to go. Appreciate everybody watching. We'll catch you next time.